on one eye, as you can tell. It's a super simple glittery eye. Um, I'm not focusing too much on the eyes. I just chucked on a couple shadows and some glitter. So I'm going to show you how I've done that. So first I'm going to pick up Chickadee from Makeup Geek. And this will act as our transitional colour today. And I'm just going to keep that like in the crease. Next colour we're going to use is Morocco from Makeup Geek. And I'm just going to take that on the same brush that I just used. Just to darken up a little bit. Oh my god, I have so much glitter actually in my eyeball. Oh no. Oh my god. Okay, so now I've done that, I'm just going to take my NYX Ultimate Colours. No, NYX Ultimate Shadow Palette. Oh crap, nearly dropped it then. I'm just going to pick up this Coralie. I proper emphasise the ugh on that. <laughs> so I'm just going to pick up this super coral shade here. Oh, it matches my nails. Oh, sort of anyway. <laughs> I'm just going to do a really quick cut crease with the glue. So I picked up this NYX glitter glue and oh my god, I don't know what I've been doing about it. So I'm just going to squeeze some out onto my brush. I'm just going to pack that all over my lid and then going to start tracing out my cut crease where I want the glitter to go. Okay, so now that's all tacky, I'm going to go in with some Violet Voss glitter. This is in the shade Penny, I do believe. I'm just going to pick some of it up and start packing it all over the lid. Okay, so then I'm going to take this Glam Crystals eyeliner, glitter eyeliner by Collection, and I'm just going to place this underneath my eyebrow. Now my lashes are on, I'm going to go ahead and moisturise my face, and I'm going to use Simple Kind of Skin um, Facial Moisturiser. Then to get rid of all these pores around here, I get really, really big pores. I'm going to take my LA Girl Pro Prep HD, what's it called? Smoothing Face Primer. So for foundation, I'm going to take these two. These two have been my go-to lately. Literally every single day I'll use this. Um, so this is the Nars Sheer Glow in Stromboli. And this is in Golden. I usually use the Warm Beige by itself. But I bought the Golden one just as like a mixer. Okay, so I've been loving the NYX HD Studio. The lid come off. It wasn't glued on properly, so so I'm just going to apply this underneath my eyes. Like so. Okay, so I'm going to pop into the RCMA powder, and I'm just going to pick some of that up on a brush. I'm going to take my L'Oreal Lumi uh, highlighting pen. Is that what it's called? I don't know. Then to set the rest of my face, I'm going to take my NARS pressed powder in Beach. I'm going to go in with this palette again. And I'm going to take this Coralie shade that we used on the lid and I'm going to take this Morphe E36 brush just because it's a really nice small defined brush and it can get right in under there. Right. I need a close up mirror please. Okay so I'm going to apply some mascara to my lower lashes. Um, I'm kind of winging it right now. I have no idea where this is going. Okay so as per usual taking my Hoola Bronzer by Benefit to contour my face. Then I'm going to take some of the Max Dark Deepest to darken up my face a little bit, just to add a bit more colour. So I'm going to take my Milani um, Baked Bronzer in Glow, and I'm just going to be applying this right over top. And this will just add a nice glow to the skin, absolutely bring your face to life. 
Okay, so now I'm absolutely stumped because I want to do something really different. But I'm not that creative, you know, so. Might just do some glitter under the eyes, you know. So I don't know what I'm going to do, but watch and you'll find out. So I don't really know what went on here. So basically I took these little crystal things that I showed you. Basically they are these super cool um, little triangular shaped, um, uh, what do you call it? Sequins. Okay, so I want to spray my face but I don't want these to fall off. So let's have a try. So I'm probably going to use the sleek just because it's got different colored highlighters in there so like purple and all that stuff so i think i'm gonna pick up holly you're right dog's going crazy out there so i think i'm gonna pick up these two shades here so this purple and this orange we will just have to see how we go i'm trying to literally be so careful Okay, so I'm just going to be applying that to, basically I'm just hopping into this purple shade mostly. Yeah. <laughs> That's so crazy. Um, I kind of look like I've been bruised on the nose, you know? So I don't know what colour I want to use on my lips. Oh, actually, I want to apply some um, white eyeliner. And I'm just going to apply some into my, how is this going to work? Don't try this at home. I don't know if that looks good. <laughs> I just thought, should I add like a little dot there? Does it look good or does it look a bit sheer? Reaching out for a any pencil. This is the Gerard Cosmetics in Nude. I'm going to take Mannequin. This is literally one of my go-to liquid lipsticks I've been going to lately. <laughs> Um, what? <laughs> if you own a liquid lipstick by Jeffree Star, you know it stinks so bad. Uh. <laughs> okay, so that brings me to the end of the video. Um, I know I look super different. Um, just chucked on a wig and this wig is from Donna Love Hair. I have a coupon code, discount code, whatever you want to call it, down below if you want to check them out. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. It really, really does mean so much to me. Please make sure to like this video if you did enjoy it and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And yeah, thank you so much again and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!